Athletes at a local high school are packing up the pads and turning in the helmets after their athletic director announced football season has been canceled. Hard to believe the school's administration is saying that it's to protect the players after a season full of injuries. Eight on your sides, Marco Villarreal is live from Gulf High School. And Marco, this is tough for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons indeed, not just for the school here, the football team, the marching band, which happens to be out here practicing, but also for the other schools that were going to play Gulf High. And now as the students are still reacting, the school district is making adjustments. To know the kind of season the Gulf High football team is having, you just have to look at their record, 0-7. How were they this year? Uh, they weren't that good. Struggling, huh? Yeah, struggling. That's the word. Now, the athletic director is announcing the rest of the season canceled. And we had some injuries that took place, and they really were concerned for the well-being of the students. The Buccaneers started the season with 20 athletes. Then came the injuries. I heard about all the concussions that had been going on, and then someone broke their leg at practice, I heard. Only 13 students were left to play the games. That's not a really strong number to be able to support when you consider that you need to have 11 out for offense, 11 out for defense, um, and that means that they're all playing every role. Gulf High administrators say it's a young team with only a couple of seniors that could still use earlier games to show colleges their tapes. So we definitely got those responses of understanding. Um, but the other piece of the puzzle is the disappointment. What do you do now on Friday nights? <laughs> I don't know. I'll find out. <laughs> Now, the final three games for Gulf High would have been against Wesley Chapel, Zephyr Hills, and Cypress Creek. Zephyr Hills was supposed to play golf for homecoming, and I'm told by Pasco County Schools that all homecoming activities for Zephyr Hills will remain the same. They'll play instead against Pasco High School on the 25th for their homecoming game. Reporting live in Newport, Richie Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.